Welcome to Unity 5 Fundamentals, exploring the Unity 5 interface. In this section, we will walk through the user interface with special emphasis on the various layouts, different views, and tools. As you will discover, many of Unity's tools are accessible both via the menu system and via icons. We will also cover customization of the user interface so you can configure Unity the way that best fits your style and working rhythm. By the end of this section, you will have Unity personalized and ready for use. This video consists of a walkthrough of the Unity 5 user interface. Our walkthrough of the Unity 5 user interface will focus on three primary components. First, we will discuss layouts and then look at the different views associated with the user interface. Finally, we will cover the Unity 5 transform tools. Okay, let's launch Unity. Layouts refer to the arrangement of views or windows on the screen. We'll talk about views a bit later. To change a layout, we simply click on the Layout button located in the far right region of the interface. Let's look at each predefined layout. The 2x3 layout provides the scene and game views stacked on the left and three columns for the hierarchy, project, and inspector views. The four split layout provides four different views of the same scene. All other visible views are located to the right. The tall layout includes a tall view of the scene view. The wide layout includes a wide view of the scene view. Additional views are located at the bottom and the right regions of the screen. The default layout is similar to the wide layout but centers the scene view with additional views located to the left, right, and bottom. I have mentioned several views, so let's look at those now. The scene view, depicted here with an automobile, is our viewport into the visual aspect of our games. Unity scenes are game levels. The game view is the interface used to test your game inside the development environment. To access the game view, we simply use the play button at the top center of the interface. As you can see, this game level or scene is playable inside the development environment. This is a quick way to test during development. The hierarchy view shown here on the left provides an organized view of every object in a scene. When you select an object in this view, the object is selected in the scene view and the inspector view is populated. We'll talk about the inspector view shortly. The project view provides you with a file structure that contains all of your game's components. This will include objects, art files, audio, scripts, and more. The project view's file structure is based on your computer's file structure. So if you want to make changes to the structure, I recommend you do it here in the project view. The inspector view reveals an object's properties, giving you access to make changes. You will spend a lot of time working in this view. Now, let's look at some tools. The transform tools are the tools you will use to interact with objects in the scene view. There are five buttons, each representing a separate transform tool. The first tool is the hand tool or view tool. It is selected by clicking on the hand icon you'll see that my cursor turned to a hand so I know what mode I am in. With this tool selected, we can zoom in and out using the mouse scroll wheel. When we left click, we can pan around the scene. When we right click, we can look around based on our current position. The second tool is the translate tool. The icon representing this tool is the one with four arrows. When we click on an object with this tool, we're presented with three gizmos, one for each axis, X, Y, and Z. We can click and drag these gizmos to move the objects. Next is the rotate tool. The icon is of two rotating arrows. You can see that a selected object will have three color rings, one for each axis. We can click these rings and move the mouse to change an object's rotation on each axis. The fourth tool is the transform tool, indicated 
by the line and block gizmos. With this tool selected, you can click on a gizmo and drag it to make it larger or smaller. Finally, the rect or rectangle tool is represented by a rectangle icon with intersecting points. This tool can be used to move, resize, and rotate an object in the scene view. This is a versatile tool that you should spend time experimenting with. As a recap of our walkthrough of Unity's interface, we looked at predefined layouts, which were 2x3, 4 split, tall, wide, and default. We also looked at views, which were scene view, game view, hierarchy view, project view, and inspector view. And finally, we covered the transform tools, which are the hand or view tool, translate tool, rotate tool, transform tool, and the rect or rectangle tool.